You are watching Our Vancouver. I'm Gloria Makarenko. You know, it was about 50 years ago when a New York food editor founded a society exclusively for women in the male-dominated culinary world. And back in the day, Les Dames d'Escoffier boasted American TV cooking sensation Julia Child as a member. And today, it supports women launching their careers around the world, including Chef Miru Dalwala. You've been a member for many, many years. About eight or nine years. Wow. So what is Les Dames d'Escoffier? all about? So uh, the BC chapter is about 30 years old now mm -hmm. and we do a lot of fundraising for scholarships and mentoring and promotion and support of women in the culinary, hospitality, wine industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've given away I think about $400,000 wow. in BC in the past 30 years. And um, I mean, even a lot, a lot of my staff at Vidges, a lot of the women's staff at my Vidges have taken advantage of the scholarships, you know, wine programs, baking courses, cooking classes, just whatever it takes to get us up to par, up to speed, and to enjoy our careers. Yeah, and why is that little bit of extra help necessary? Uh, you know, it's the, the, ne the necessity is just sometimes, especially young women, coming out of high school, um, you know, changing careers midway through, we just don't have the money. It's, it, I mean, cooking school is not cheap. Wine school is not cheap. And so it's just to give us a little bit of a boost, a little bit of a head start, just so that we don't need to worry about the money while we are learning our potential passions. Right, and who would be eligible for, for one of these scholarships? Any woman, mm -hmm. any self-identifying woman is eligible for a scholarship. You just get online, lesdamdescoffier.ca. I don't know if I got that one right, yes. but uh, you just get online and you just talk about why you want to do it. You'll need to probably get one or two references. I've done a lot of reference letters for our staff and really just convince us that yeah. this, is, this is my passion, this is why, this is my experience, and this is what I wish to do. Right. And then, you know, the scholarships are granted and they get going. Right. Okay. So you pointed out that uh, fundraising is a big part yep. of what you do mm -hmm. as a community here in the Vancouver area. Mm -hmm. um, this year, centering around picnics. Tell us about yeah. that. So Stephanie Yeager, she, along with her husband, Scott Yeager, uh, they were the co-owners of Pear Tree of course. Restaurant. And so this is Stephanie's um, baby, I would call it. And so I feel like Les Dames, Stephanie, summertime, it's just picnic and bubbles. Picnic and bubbles. You brought and, the bubbles. Yeah. You brought some, and, and we get to enjoy Vidge's fabulous food in the picnic. So, what are we serving? So, uh, first of all, Indian picnics are very different than Western picnics. How so? Well, we eat curry for yeah. picnic, yeah. and um, and it doesn't matter if it's a picnic in Indian cuisine. Everything has to be balanced out, mm -hmm. and so. Um, this is a lot, most of the, I think the picnic baskets, they're very different. I think there's fish charcuterie, there is even gluten-free fried chicken, other fried chicken. Okay. And so when Stephanie asked me at first, I was like, hmm, I don't know, Stephanie, we don't really do fried chicken in Indian food. <laughs> and she goes, just do what you would eat on a right. picnic, Miru. And I said, okay, let's do it. So we've got um, vegetarian potato samosas. Lovely. And this is um, We've got some curry chickpeas. We've got some kale that's going to go with the chickpeas. We've got the naan. We've got the rice. And we've got the coconut rice pudding for the dessert. And we've got the sprouted lentil salad. Let's talk about sprouted lentils. And I get to, I'm going to chase this. And this looks amazing. It is just a beautiful, beautiful dish. But what's going on with the sprouted lentils? So this is like my pet this is my pet passion okay. food. Okay. Uh, my family has grown up on it. Uh, I do it all the time. So sprouted lentils mm -hmm. you can do in the summertime in 36 hours, in the wintertime about 48 hours. It is as easy as just taking a cup of mung beans, putting it in a bowl with a lid, rinsing them, putting water, covering, and just watching them okay. sprout. Okay, wait a second. These are, what are these? One cup of mung beans. Mung beans. Mung so beans. you add water to the mung beans. Yeah. rinse them, add to water them. to it. Right. So mm -hmm. for us, we eat them with everything. Yeah. So now here, we've actually at Vidges, we do it with uh, sprouted black chickpeas as well. Okay. So we've got the sprouted mung beans, let's, we've let's got sprout, sprouted black bit. chickpeas. Right. What else do you add to that? And so to this, we're going to add some onions, onions. ginger, 
Oh, that's the chopped ginger. Yep, Lovely. cilantro. Mm. The cilantro is what really makes it very summery fresh. Yes, so yes, I'm going to put agree. a lot of cilantro. Good. A tiny bit of jalapeno to add a oh, little zing to it. Oh, that's going to give it a little bit of a kick. And then lemon just to give the tartness. That's a little bit. That's about maybe a teaspoon of lemon. Right. And now. You've got a couple of different salts here there. Here are the two Can I start? Can yep, I start, start to stirring it? Okay. This is regular table salt. Yep. This is Indian black salt. Okay. And so in a lot of our lemony salads, we add black salt. It's a very sulfuric smell. Mm. When we're opening the bags, we can't do it when the restaurant is open okay. because that smell, I'll say politely, is very different okay. than okay. the You're taste very of polite. It. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So then How much I'm just going to. Just a pinch? Just a pinch of this black salt. It's for okay. a flavor. Okay. I would love to hear who else is involved with, uh, you know, in terms of restaurants with, with, the, yep. with the picnic and how people can get involved. So to get the whole list Tasting. of a lot of restaurants, just get online um, mm -hmm. for the picnic itself. Les Dames de Scoffier. Les, de, Les Dames de Scoffier, mm -hmm. uh, Picnic and Bubbles. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got Autostrada, I'm going to miss some, published on Maine, mm -hmm. uh, Doucette Diner, mm -hmm. North Van. Um, I know. Don't you hate lists on the fly? I'm sorry to do yeah. that to you, um, but it's we important. Have, we've got um, a lot of restaurants in the Okanagan mm. as well participating. Mm. Um, fresh ideas Can I just here. say, this tastes alive to me. Like, it's lovely it and fresh it and is. alive. And I'm, anyway. Yeah, and, and the thing is, when you're eating naan, you're eating a nice, you know, samosa. Um, this just kind of balances it all out. Oh, I love right? it. Okay, and if I'm you're going to be out in the sun, right, you want to balance out your meal, even if you're having an Indian picnic. And then uh, I can't forget about the bubbles. That the bubbles. Gonna, the <clears throat> bubbles are a very important part. So Vidges is doing Evolve. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Evolve, the family, is the, one of the pioneering families that did sumac wines. Okay. Right? And um, so it's Krista Lee McWater. She's mm -hmm. the dame. Yes. As well. Um, and it just is it's, it's peachy. It's melony. Um, melon, not melony. Right? Okay, and, wait, um, to round things out, you got a little bit of dessert as well. Yep. And that's okay. the rice pudding at the very end. Rice it's a, we did a coconut oh. rice pudding because coconut just will kind of keep in a picnic basket longer than milk. Miru, how can people find tickets for these, not tickets, get their picnic? And just book get their online and just uh, Les Dames d'Escoffier, BC, okay. Picnic and Bubbles. We're going to put that at the bottom of the screen. screen. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. so people will know. When I start know. talking about food, I forget little details. I'm, I'm all about just the overall here, too. Can I finish with some you chickpeas? Sure can, yeah. What have you got in here? So it's uh, our uh, Sarnese chickpeas, mm. and that's a curry. Mm -hmm. But then again, that's balanced out with our grilled kale. Mm. That's my kind of picnic. That's my kind of picnic. It is gorgeous. Thank you so much for coming oh, thank in. thank you. And we still have thank great you. picnicking weather ahead of us this summer. And it so. is a fundraiser for Vancouver Food Banks yep. as well. And okay. so the funds are being shared 50-50 between Les Dames and Vancouver Food Banks. And one more thing, we restaurants are also getting a $50 stipend so that we are covered as well. Okay. Yeah. I like, that's win-win-win. It's all win-win-win. Win, win, win. Yeah. Happy rest of summer to you. Thank you. You too, Gloria.